Hey everybody, it's Shelly Roxanne and it's day two of the NFL Draft. And if you were like me and last night you were watching with bated breath as 32 names were called. And I thought about the stories of those young men whose lives will forever be changed. And I thought about the sacrifices that their families have made and the things that they've gone through to get to that incredible moment. But I couldn't help but think about the young men, the hundreds of young men who sat in living rooms and maybe even there in Nashville and they're all dressed up and waiting for their name to be called and Pookie and them and Mama and them are all there and everybody is waiting and they didn't get the call. And I thought about a young man in the year 2000, in the 2000 NFL draft, who sat, and this young man, you couldn't tell him that he was not the best player available in that draft. And he had to sit and hear 198 names called. Arizona's on the clock. The Giants are on the clock. San Francisco's on the clock. Kansas City's on the clock. His name wasn't called. 198 times. And it was that 199th time before his name was called. The cameras are gone. Everybody's gone home. The people, the thousands of people out in the stadium are all gone home. And he could have been in his feelings. You mean to tell me 198 people were better than me? Well, you know what? I'll show them. And that young man, of course, we know today as Tom Brady. And whether you're a Patriots fan or not, you cannot argue that Tom is probably the greatest to ever do it. And it's not his quarterback talent to me that shows his greatness. His greatness is about saying, I don't care what they say. They can overlook me. I will show them that I am the greatest of all time. Can you relate to Tom? I know that I can. I can relate to feeling like you have something to offer. You have something to give. And you want to do it. But you're overlooked and overlooked and overlooked. I mean, can I say 198 times? I don't know. Can you say that? Tom sat and he listened to 198 names called before his. Well, there's a success principle in the frustrated believer what to do when you don't know what to do. And that success principle says, some will, some won't. So what? And Tom Brady, I would say, is the best example of that. Because 198 times somebody else was picked. But the Patriots decided to take a chance on a young, skinny kid. And they said, okay, we'll see what happens. Well, that young, skinny kid proved to us that he was the greatest of all time. Well, I say to you that if you feel that you're being overlooked and you feel that you have something to offer and you feel that you just want to get picked, you just want an opportunity. I say to you, don't worry about how many people were picked before you. Continue to do what you do because some will, some won't. So what? Be great anyway. The best is yet to come. I love you.